Today, I'm going to walk you through a more challenging eight count that involves double strikes on both your left and right hand and the use of both your thumbs and your index fingers on both left and right hand. First, let me walk you through the basic pattern, how I choose to do it. It looks like this. I start on my middle four notes here. I'm going to start, my one is going to be my thumb on my right hand. My two is going to be my thumb on my left hand. My three is going to be my index on my left hand. And my four is going to be my index on my right hand. So the first four should sound like this. Again, thumb right, thumb left, index right, left, index right. To continue on with the next four counts, I first start with a strike with my left index, then a strike with my right thumb, then a strike with my right index, and then a strike with my left index to finish. So the full eight count should sound like this. Here's slow. One more time. A little faster. One more time. Let me give you a couple in a row. The next part is to start replacing your fifth count and your eighth count with a strike on the edge. Uh, I tend to use a flat index finger and strike down near the edge here. It should sound like this. We want it to sound slappy and percussive. So if I replace my fifth count and my eighth count, those are both index strikes on my left hand, it should sound like this, or slow. Fast. Couple in a row. Now that we've got that basic pattern, we can continue on and start building a bass line. To build a bass line, I'm just going to replace my first strike with my right thumb with a different tone field. In this case, I'll start moving lower. My bass line is going to sound like this. I'll do a couple of each and continue on through the progression from high to low. First slow. Bring it up to speed. Now we have a basic pattern and a bass line. It's time for a melody. To create the melody, I'm going to start replacing those fifth and eighth note strikes on the side with other tone fields and create a melody. My basic melody is going to sound like this. Might sound simple now, but when combined with all the pattern and the running bass line, it gets pretty complicated and sounds really good. Here it is slow. faster. Let's run that through a couple times. Now we have a 
melody and a bass line, let's put them together. Here's a simple melody connecting with that descending bass line that was under earlier. Two from the top, a little bit faster. Now that we have a general melody, a running bass line, and a rhythm to play in, let's think of ways that we can expand this thought. One way to do it is to add in ghost notes. Ghost notes are notes where you're striking, but you're striking light in an effort to keep the rhythm, but not really play along with the melody or the beat. So a ghost note can sound like this. If I was to use ghost notes in this, I could do something like this. I choose to use ghost notes during the melody in an effort to isolate the melody. It could sound like this. A little bit faster now. Another way to continue with this rhythm is to move the pattern around and create other sub-melodies. For example, if I shift my hands, leaving my left hand where it was, and putting my right hand down on the lowest notes, it can sound something like this. This also opens up the other tone fields to create new melodies. For example, 